Hello, boys and girls. So this week for your first art assignment, if you missed it, you will be making a personalized homemade sketchbook, okay? Now this is made from seven to 10 pieces of white paper. If you have lined paper and that's all you have, then we will make it work. But if you do have your white paper from the supply list, go ahead and grab seven to, sheet, seven to 10 sheets now, okay? Once you have your seven to 10 sheets, have them in a nice even pile. I might tap it on the table a few times to make sure that it's nice and even on all sides before I continue what I'm going to do. Once I have made, I'm sure that I have a nice even bundle, you can see the crease from the class that I taught. I'm going to fold this packet of paper over I'm gonna make sure, slowly make sure that the edges are together and even. If it's a little bit off, you're fine. If it's a lot off, then we have a problem. So make sure that your edges are nice and even and then use your palms to press down and crease. Now you have kind of a booklet going on. Now here's the interesting part, boys and girls. You can use anything in your house to bind the book. To bind means to keep the pages together. For this one, I use staples. One, two, three staples, okay? Sometimes the folded paper, though, boys and girls, might be a little thick. So if you do use staples, you might wanna use more like seven pages of paper and then staple it down. On another one, and this one's not finished because I used it for a class, I used wire. Wire for my junk drawer, I literally found it today. You can use wire, rubber bands, or a string to tie the paper together. That is an option as well. And then for this one, you guys don't have to use um, construction paper for your cover, but you can. For this one, I used bobby pins, bobby pins. I have them in my hair constantly because my hair is very thick. I used bobby pins for the top and bottom. I saw friends in one of my classes use a hair clip to bind it together. I saw a friend use paper clips and they just paper clipped the top and the bottom down. For this one, I used masking tape. I took my masking tape and I very slowly from the top unrolled and taped my paper down the spine. And then once I had a nice one piece on the inside, I flipped it over and then I taped it on the outside of the spine. You can see how the two pieces of tape overlap right here. So there are many, many solutions, boys and girls, to bind your book. For this one, I found binder clips in my junk drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and clip the top and the bottom of my, of my book so that my pieces of paper stay together. Once you have found something in your house to bind the book, that's when you want to make your personal, your personal, um, losing the word right now, your personal cover for your sketchbook, okay? This can be anything that you would like as long as it's school appropriate. For this one, I used bubble letters and said, said Miss Beltran sketchbook with a paintbrush. For this one, I drew my bitmoji in a bunch of art tools. And then for this one, I drew the Beatles because I love the Beatles. You choose something that you enjoy and personalize your sketchbook for yourself. If you have any questions, please contact me on Class Dojo or my email at jacqueline.beltran at christina.k12.de.us. But until then, boys and girls, once you are done your personalized cover, this is the sketchbook we are going to use for Sketchbook Friday. Now, we will always tell you on Class Dojo or the class before your Sketchbook Friday to bring your sketchbook with you and a sketch inside so we can discuss it. So you, have, you guys have plenty of time before you see me next Sketchbook Friday to get this done. 
All right, I will see you next class and hopefully you enjoy this assignment.